the digital competencies are a categorized collection of digital skills that we're using every day and may not even know it. Logging into like a network or something for your Wi-Fi, that's actually a competency. If you've ever thought to yourself like, okay, like I've edited videos before, um, but like, I don't know if that's actually a skill, there's a word for it. You could say, I have experience in audiovisual production and analysis. Um, so it's basically adding an, another level of professionalism to the way you describe your digital skills. So we have a three-part model. Uh, we ask students to reflect on the competencies, both the competencies they have and their sort of level of interest or their um, level of mastery, and then starting to think about articulating. How do I explain uh, my skills and abilities for other audiences? The digital competencies framework uh, provides some, a kind of lexicon that I can fall back on to help me put my skills and the things I want to develop into perspective. The digital competencies framework changes how I understand my skills because um, it's teaching me to reflect upon what I'm doing while I'm doing it and being aware of how I could articulate those skills to someone else at a later date. Depending on what industry I am interviewing for, for post-graduation jobs and positions, I need to be able to tailor my language um, while still advertising the same skills that I have. So being able to make those connections between um, the names that we have for, from the framework with our everyday life sort of help us get into the routine of um, naming these skills. It's not enough to just say, oh, you can do it, but you have to show that you can. So we're looking at other ways to kind of integrate um, these kinds of experiential hands-on learning, either things that students develop off campus or things that we can facilitate on campus using technologies that we might not uh, use in the classroom necessarily. I'm not um, entirely sure of where I will be in the future, but I do know that I will be using the digital competencies because they allow me to not only learn about different areas of technology that I've never explored, but also to recognize the skills that I already have. So I think that in the future, I will definitely be using them in every class regardless of what I do.